dear student i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty sure and you are healthy and hearty and staying at home due to the covid uh, pandemic and i hope your family members and you are uh, all well so welcome to today's class so today's uh, topic of discussion is hindu religion and moral education and today's uh, lesson is chapter 2 religious books in the last class i also discussed about the second chapter uh, the religious books i discussed uh, lesson 1 2 and 3 from this chapter so today i will discuss lesson 4 and 5 since so today's class i am with you ronan chandradas assistant teacher lagos public school and college so before going to the discussion of lesson 3 and 4 so let's review the previous class in the last class i discussed about what is a religious book and how we get benefit or benefited by this book by following or practicing this book what can we achieve so in hindu religion we believe that we have a life after death so and whatever we are doing in our entire life good or bad it will be judged by the almighty sure and if we are doing good to others or following the religious path and we will send to heaven and if we are not doing the same as prescribed in the religious book and we are not following the good deeds we are doing evil things and we are not obeying the rules and regulations of the religious book then we will be punished by the almighty ishwar and sent to the hell so in a religious book it's a total guideline uh, <clears throat> and by following this book we can live our entire life so it is mentioned that what we should do or what we should not do which for path we should follow and by following which path we can get eternity in our life or after our life so in lesson 3 it is mentioned that the rule of the puran so we have so many religious books but remember that i told you in the first class that one first and foremost and the most ancient and the main religious book of us is veda veda is one and only and it is divided into four parts because there are 18000 mantras or shuktas in this book to read or memorize or to understand the book it is divided into four portion and the four portion describe the four important things that means it is not that the veda is four four vedas in our religion veda is one and only and it is divided into four parts or condos so <clears throat> so for except veda lots of people or saint and sages they have written books like puran and shrimad bhagavad gita etc by following this book we can learn or follow the eternity so today i'll discuss about puran according to the textbook so the importance of purans in our daily and social life is endless see here like the others book but what is our guideline what is our guide which one is should follow is veda in ancient traditions the purans are considered religious books according to the ancient religious beliefs truth non violence forgiveness peace and dedication ultimately provide a special place for a human being or make him or her dignified so it is said and now in the present times kali yuga so people are not 
uh, following a religion they are not maintaining they are doing bad things they're cheating others they are not they are very violent etc you can see but if we follow the religion or religious book then we you will not see these things in the society so that means if we read or practice whatever it is mentioned in the religious book then our society will be fine and fair and people will be good and they will behave good with others based on these qualities there are lots of advices in purans to make to make life beautiful so always each and every religious book prescribe us the what should we do or what should we not do or who are which path we should follow by following these ways uh, we can make our life beautiful so these pieces of advice make us conscious about morality they help us follow the paths of religion see here what i have discussed it is our duty to always remember god because we are the creation we are the creation of almighty god or Ishwara, and we have to we must thankful to god for that reason we should always remember him and pray to him if we are praying if we can satisfy him then a well-being will happen and uh, blessings will open us blessings will be upon us if we do of uh, the heaven after our death so if we do these sins will stay away from us that means if we are following religion practicing religious things then nothing bad can be done by us the paths of religion will lead us to bisholog that means the life after death of the heaven after our death the Purans discuss the eternal Vedic ideals, monotheism, social customs, and how to get rid of the caste distinctions. There is no caste. Whatever people uh, describe now, that there are lower caste or upper caste, there is no lower or upper caste. Just in our Veda, there are people not divided, that the class is divided of their work. So that means not that they are lower or upper class. It has been said earlier that the Purans discuss too many varied stories of the ups and downs of human life. Some of them are <clears throat> Dukhradanna, then Ashwamedha, Jaggo, the killing of Mahishashur. These heroic fables inspire us to make our life beautiful and decent by following the religious book. Then in 4, Sri Sri Chondi, there is another book. It is written here, described here very short so that you can get the only basic knowledge of the religious books. So the Sri Sri Chondi is a remarkable book of the followers of Hinduism. That means we are the follower of the Shonathan religion, the ancient, most ancient one. It was not composed separately. That means it is not written uh, separately. The Sri Sri Chandi is a part of the Markanda Puran, so which uh, part of Sri Sri Chandi? Sri Sri Chandi is a part of the Markanda Puran. Chapters 83 to 95 of the Markanda Puran are named the Sri Sri Chandi. See, then chapter 83 to 95 of the Markanda Puran are named the Sri Sri Chandi. This path of the Markanda Puran is called deva mahata there are 700 mantras in the sri sri chandi very important line is how many mantras are there so there are 700 mantras in the sri sri chandi so its another name is shapta then what is the name another name of it the shapta bhuti so why because there are 700 mantras for that reason its name another name is Shaptosh Bodhi. In spite of being a part of the Mahabharata, the Gita is considered as a separate holy book. The Chandi is also considered as a separate holy book through it is a part of the Markandeya Puran due to its subject matter and composition. 
so it is separate but it is also our, our one of our holy books but remember that there are lots of books that which will guide you to the religion but which is our main uh, religious book is veda and divided into veda is one and it is divided into four parts how many mantras are there 18000 so except that there are also some uh, important religious book or holy book among them Srimad Bhagavad Gita then Mahabharata Ramayana and also the Puran so the history of the king Shurat Samadhi Boisho Devi Mahamaya Devi Durga Devi Ambika or along with the history and nobility of Devi Kolika have been described in the Sri Sri Chondi so it's a description of their work and what they did the Chondi is specially read at the Durga Puja and Bashanti Puja. So especially uh, in the beginning of the Durga Puja and the Bashanti Puja, so Chondi is specially read. The Chondi is also a commonly read book like the Gita. So it is also the common uh, book like the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana, Mahabharat, etc. So according to Puran, at first king Shurat started worshipping the goddess Sri Sri Chandi in the spring season Bashantokal. For this reason the name of the puja is uh, Bashanti Puja. But now a day is the traditional Durga Puja which is being celebrated by the Hindu community in the autumn is actually known as uh, Akal Bodhan at an earlier date of the actual time. So of the Devi. So Sri Ramchandra <coughs> arranged this puja in the autumn before his war with Ravana. So remember that you, I, I must, I, I, you must read and so far from any source you heard the story of Durga Puja because uh, Sri Ramchandra uh, arranged this puja uh, in the autumn before his war with Ravana to rescue uh, abducted Shita. In course of time, this early dated of Akal Bodhan Durga Puja has got more importance and uh, popularity. This autumn Durga Puja has been got popularity as uh, Sharodiya Durga Puja, giving the arrival message of autumn Devi Durga descent on the earth. That means it is the descendant, uh, she is a descendant, uh, she descends in the earth in autumn. Devi Durga stays on earth on 6, 7, 8, 9 days of a lunar bright fortnight. So, from lesson 4 and 5, uh, we can know that Sri Sri uh, Puran, Puran is also our one of the holy religious book and also Sri Sri Chondi. So, in Chondi, especially, it's uh, described about the uh, history or myth of. King Shurat, then Shamadi Bosho, Devi Mohamaya, Devi Durga, Devi Ambika, along with the history and nobility of Devi Kalika, have been described in this book. So, by reading this, we can know about the history and the facts of them. And by reading this, we can inspire us to be an honest, noble and pious person and to follow the path of religion. So it is the moral lesson of lesson uh, 3 and 4. So that's all for today. In the next class, I'll discuss about 5, 6 and 7 lesson. So it's a big chapter to discuss. So I'll discuss 5, 6 and 7 in the next chapter, next class. So before that, you must read this. at home so your home tax will be page 13 14 and 15 please read page 13 14 and 15 so in page 13 14 and 15 and there are the lesson 5 6 and 7 so you read it at home then i'll discuss it in the next class so till then till then and hope to see you in the next class so you have time a week before the next class so please read the lessons 
five, six, and seven, eight home. Okay. Then after finishing the chapter, then I will take a task or exam, the short portions or anything else from this chapter. So read them carefully and read them attentively at home. So hope you will, I will meet with the next class. Till then, stay safe, stay happy, and please follow the field issues and listen to your parents. See you in the next class. Till then, bye bye.